The government shutdown continues. Hearts are opening up. At this apartment complex in Oklahoma City, as many as 100 federal workers won't have to worry about rent or utilities for as long as the shutdown lasts. At Java Joe's Cafe on Michigan's Upper Peninsula, free breakfast is being served for Coast Guard workers. And in the shadow of the nation's capital, one restaurant is flipping free burgers for anyone on the government payroll, including elected officials. Owner Peter Tabibian is hoping free food might help end a costly stalemate. They could sit over a nice juicy burger and hammer this thing out and get these good people back to work. Sounds like a decent plan. That is the CBS Evening News. I'm Jeff Glor. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. On the scene, on the story, News 9 starts now. We're glad you're with us tonight. This man, wanted by multiple agencies for serious crimes like assaulting an officer, is in custody tonight. The Cleveland County investigators say they wouldn't have been able to track him down without a K-9 deputy. Our Kaylee Bourgeois is live in Norman with the story tonight. Kaylee? Kelly and Amanda, you may remember News 9 did a similar story last month where this same canine officer captured a different suspect. He started back in the fall, but he's been catching criminals left and right without even having to bite them. Canine Deputy Heavy has done it again. Last month, the furry deputy captured this man accused of holding his own mother hostage. Yesterday, Heavy sniffed out and stopped Curtis Farrell, a suspect with multiple felony warrants who was hiding in Noble. The dog is a great partner, a great resource. The dog not only led his human co-workers to where Farrell